who were curious about how I do my pixel art despite my blindness. And it's really, really simple, but it's really, really complex at the same time. The reason why it's complex is because I use various forms of assistive technology like text-to-speech, which reads the screen to you, uh, magnifiers that increase the screen size and the area of the screen that you're looking at, as well as high contrast and then altercations to like Photoshop. And um, I use an application on my iPad called Art Studio for iPad. And I, I uh, have a programming background, so I do altercations to some of the programming to make it more accessible to me as to like high contrast or readable mem menus or text changes versus images um so that's the first part that that that's the technical stuff so i'm just throwing that out there because it's a whole bunch to explain into one video um the next part is that it's really simple because basically for me what you do is for pixel art you take a you you take a uh a canvas is what I is what I've called them, you know, a canvas on your computer, your on Photoshop in real life, a grid paper in real life. And um, you basically color in square by square, pixel by pixel, and then you use alternating colors. Now, for me, I've had a lot of experience and a lot of training and a lot of practice uh, throughout the years with a lot of graphic design and things. So I have the background to go off of but anybody can really do it just as long as they keep trying and it's it seems like it's really really simple and this is the this is another part to the complex part is that it seems really simple but once you start getting into multiple of colors and then multiple multiples of colors and it starts getting a little bit more complex as to try and figure out how to make a 3d 3d picture into a 2d plane um so yeah basically but basically i, I know i'm getting all over the place but basically um I take a grid and I color it in square by square, pixel by pixel, and I make the pieces and they, you know, they could be very small, which is on YouTube, which is 150 pixels by 150 pixels, or I can do my biggest pieces, which are 2000 by 2000 pixels, which is just 4 million pixels. Um, that is my biggest piece to date. I don't think I'm going to be going any bigger than that because that one took me a long time and a lot of complexity and, <laughs> um, but yeah, they my pieces range from twenty twenty to forty thousand pixels to two to two to four million pixels. So, um, yeah, I mean, learning how to get around my blindness and to make art was a big thing for me because when I was rec when I was losing my vision about three years ago now, um, and I and unfortunately I'm still losing my vision. But but when I had major changes to my vision. Um, I was learning how to do um, art because I wanted to get back into it, this, you know, and I needed something to hold on to. I needed something to relieve my stress and to make things better and make, you know, basically put my interests and my time towards something than just sitting there and waiting for the next doctor's appointment. And it soon became more than just an art form, it became more, more of a passion for me. It, then it became a storytelling thing. Then it became, you know, a symbol for a lot of people on the internet, you know, then it became YouTube videos and it's pretty much expanded to today. Um, and, uh, it's, it's just, it's here today. And, <laughs> to be honest, you know, it, it's just me being me and people are finding it very inspirational and, and, um, you know, and, and then I started to, you know, speak with some other YouTubers and including my mentor. And he was like, you know, choose one word that circle that, you, that circles everything that encompasses everything, absorbs it to it. And that you're going to brand, uh, with everything. And, I found out that my word was persevere because, well, I persevered through my challenges. I broke through barriers. I became who I am today, and I'm still growing to who who I'm going to be. And, yeah, I mean, because his word was believe, and mine's perseverance. So, you know, it was really great match to work with him and to still work with him. So uh, I'm really growing, and I know I'm just rambling on, and there's tons of, like, random words going everywhere but that's pretty much all I have to say at the moment but I hope I didn't keep you too long or you know sidetrack you too much from your day um but yeah let me know via you know I guess Twitter or email or Facebook or 
Um, whichever way I sent this link to you, because I'm actually making the video before I send the link out to you. So, yeah. Um, otherwise, it'd be cool working with you. Um, it would also be fun to connect and, you know, and talk a little bit and, you know, hopefully inspire each other because I'm interested in other people's stories as well as people hearing mine. So, yeah, I will see you in the next video or I'll see you in the next email or what happens next. So, see you later.